Hello, people of the internet. Welcome. Yes, welcome, Reboot fans, to the Reboot Review, colon. It, oh, wait, what? I, it's... It's... We, our synchronicity. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the colon. You forgot the colon. It's all right. Colon. It's alphanumeric. alphanumeric. It's it's also a little late here. What can we say? Um, I got really excited. Yeah. I guess. Just jumping ahead of yourself. Yeah. Well, she should be excited because I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And we have a special guest on the mic today. He's literally on the mic. Um, yeah. We're watching Bad Bob. So uh, we mentioned Katie's Bad Bob action figure. Yep. Uh, he's, he's here. He's with here. Us now to give us inspiration. S- yeah, exactly. Sitting on... He has a pretty, like, shocked look on his face. Doesn't... Yeah. He's got like the, oh, like when Bob makes that face, like when uh, he sees Megabyte jumping at him. Kind of like a, uh, yeah, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> He's got a little, a little five o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Which is Airbus part of the shadow. charm of, of the bad Bob design. I really like that they made a figure of this version of Bob. Because I had it's no very, idea that like, they did. Yeah. Well, until you got one, I guess. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. So fun story. My mom bought this for oh, me of course. from a thrift store. Because she knew how much I liked the show. It's such a find, though. I know. I was <sighs> shocked. Yeah, I, yeah. She tends to like to sell things on consumer sites uh, or secondhand consumer sites <laughs> that shall not be named. But um, she was not. She knew she was not allowed to at all part with this. With any reboot, anything. But yeah. just that, like, she found like a really Who nice and not so <laughs> Who can bear to part with Bad Bob? I know. He's ours is, forever. Yeah, exactly. I or hope is, my kids like the show. Katie because, was... Oh, yeah, we're really, like, I've got these toys forever. Right? Yeah. And also going to feel the need to watch it forever. So we're just you're just going to sit them down when they're ready and be like, no, you're watching this show. I don't know if you want your kids to get into it too young, though, because we've seen what happens to their toys. They're pretty, <laughs> yes. they're pretty young right now. Yeah, and, they do eat a lot of their toys. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not that young, but... <laughs> Oh, but yeah. boy, do they like chewing on things. I know. I, I, I like when I was a kid, I was a drawer. I would draw on all my toys. Oh, yeah. I did destroy a lot of nice And, and you things. did end up making, uh, we've talked about Katie's craftsiness before. and yes. But that did eventually lead to you making a mouse Barbie mod yes. when you weren't able to get a mouse doll. That's right. I remember her still. Yeah. I know. I had a lot of time on my hands when I was that age. <laughs> you were very motivated though, too. Like, I know. I feel like when I had time on my hands, I was reading comics. Yep, I and had to were... make. I made a reboot mobile out of the old discarded I the, mobi- the boxes, boxes yeah, of the toys. The I couldn't just tell the way there were pictures of yeah. reboot on them. <laughs> <laughs> that mobile was pretty sweet, though. I know. I you, did, you did great stuff with yep. like the the and boxes all and before Etsy. If I had known Etsy, yeah, man, really, I if we had mint. that option, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have actually wanted to part with anything that I made. Though, no, so. true, true. Yeah, yeah, you're very attached to that, but. But I guess that money is good, too. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm. That too. But what's also good is having your own Bad Bob action figure. And speaking to of keep Bad you Bob. company <laughs> while you watch the episode, which we are going to start doing. Oh, I'm usually ready in full screen. Okay, we're going to wa- start watching it now. I um, come from the I wonder what systems, motivated them to specifically make cities toys to this of this episode. As opposed to um, when games collide, yeah, right? Because <laughs> they made the ba- they made Bad Bob, friends. and they also made the Mega Trucks. And yeah, and, that is odd. And I, I wonder what it was about this episode enemies. that was like toy potential. Like maybe like I, I forgot to mention before, Irwin is the toy company, um, and I don't know what it was that made Irwin uh, look at look at Bad Bob and be like. Yes, this is a great marketable toy thing, but for whatever reason, apparently that was the one that they saw. So I wonder what that meeting, there's Bad Bob, would have been like. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Like, I, like maybe it's just because they knew the reference, the Mad Max reference. Yeah. Maybe they just sure liked it. Maybe it just was a popular episode. But I don't know if they would have decided that. No, the probably, yeah. Sure. I can't imagine. But I intend to so, find out. yeah, no. Reboot! Kind of mysterious. I guess they just needed a second line. Yeah, like they needed give you like a reason the, to buy another Bob. The the other uh, the variant toys. That's right. I guess, and maybe they liked the Mega Truck because I think the Mega Truck was kind of it's, once again in this art book that Katie has. The Mega Truck, I think, is where the inspiration for this episode came from. 
Because wasn't it that like Brendan McCarthy drew Megabyte as a truck? Right, and then yeah, and, and he just showed it to them and was like, eh, eh, and they were like, what do we do with this? And he's like, I don't know, but it's cool. <laughs> like, it was something. So he just like envisioned the characters in Doodles as um, Mad Max characters. It definitely and that is an episode in the book. that yeah. like yeah, like it comes from this one idea, it did, but it yeah. probably flew like like flow or flowed ah! flewed. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, sometimes when inspiration hits, and yeah. everyone can feel it. Yeah, and this and that's the thing is like this episode is really fun, and I just it's always just it was well, action packed. There's so yeah. much to it. Like you know, I, you almost get the sense that it was just kind of one of those magic episodes. Yeah, they just kind of came together. Because yeah, it literally started with Brendan McCarthy drawing a bunch of concept art for a thing that he was cool and showing it to them and they ran with it. It was just a picture. Yeah, and they were yeah. forcing it. Like, no, it just no, no. seemed right. Yeah. Because I mean, they shot down Brendan McCarthy's ideas all the time. So. Yeah, yeah, he came up with all kinds of crazy stuff. But this was one of the ones that I guess really stuck with them. Oh yeah, biker chick bino. He's just scoping her out. I feel like he was really trying to impress her there. I wonder. <laughs> hey, you having problems with your interocitor? Yeah, for the fifth time this cycle. That that was Dot, right? Uh, still, you or can't get classics like that anymore. Oh, <laughs> I mean the voice. I, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I I don't. I don't have that voice written down because it was just a one-off. It wasn't like I only wrote down the ones that are sort of care. But you know, I, I, I will think look it's up Kathleen Barr. I would put like, money on biker that. chick. Yeah, yeah, I'm most likely XMP it's Kathleen Barr. But if it's not, Super I will find out and uh, I will put that in the description. In an XMP48, you think you're there, and, and you're there. there. <laughs> I love the idea that he's been marketing this car May for I ages. Have a word? Right. Yeah, and so you are never destined to be good at business. Like your it sister. Let's get that badonka donk on that binder. <laughs> Does anyone say that anymore? The Daniels you do, apparently. I do, <laughs> yeah. I really do. So, what's processing, Dot? I want you to stop feeding Enzo your tales of the supercomputer. It's bad enough he follows you. It really feels games. like it came out of nowhere, what? given I that never. he's been doing this for a while now. Yeah, and she's seeing it right in front of Enzo. Like, yeah, it's really good true. for his, his understanding wrong, of their relationship. Like, they should really separate. Yeah, yeah. Fong? Fong! Like, really yeah, yeah. The principal office is what? Principal office is covered in icing. <laughs> I would love for that to be a Fong crisis. And you know that that is a crisis of Fong's own making. Fong, Fong, I need a spatula. Please bring Glitch. Bob's already on his way. Patch all monitors directly to the door. I'll run ops from here. Really? Really, Fong? We've got work to do. Oh, man. Disasters with that. They never should have gotten Fong that easy bake oven. That was just inviting problems. Everything is going according to plan, your enormity. One more hit your enormity. and the subscale will be... <laughs> you call me that bad? <laughs> Basically, that's what I got from it. Hmm, <laughs> thank you. I am enormous. <laughs> I like how the core energy can just kind of be accessed however you feel like it. Like, That's need right. the core, Break break into into the center. Yeah, need the core, open up the top. Need the core, have to be archived. Yeah, like, it just seems like they may want to work a little bit harder on that. The other thing I'm wondering is like, here's this giant machine that's coming in. Like, is it moves slowly and it's ungainly? Like, you think yeah. they have stopped it. I guess that's between. what we hack and slash are here for. Yeah. Sending the machine. I guess, and it's true, he does have a lot of troops. Yeah. Yeah, I think like they're all like dog fighting right now. That's all the chaos going on in the background. Right. With the mega limo. We haven't you seen this in a while. Them off at all costs. I love how even in the middle of like a big sky battle, Megabyte just got to ride around in this big long off and right. limo. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he's safe. Right. So what? <laughs> Megabytes to your main Not safe from Bob's terrible I car. Think so. He should have been shot out of the sky like really so many times. Take care of the guardian. Oi, oi, I oh, oh boy, Bob, yeah, just, just what, what we, we don't, don't need. Uh -oh. Uh oh, 
I wonder how much ad-libbing went on with Hack and Slash. Because you feel like a lot of, like, when they start to ramble... Yeah, it, you can't write all of that. Glitch. No, no, it's very true. Fire. Especially, like, the ums and ahs and backs and forths. And... Mind yes, yeah. the first mind digits far from the last. When I was a kid, oh man, that was that the funniest me of <laughs> every single time. Oh, really? oh we quoted well, it be so much. Yeah, this it is very quotable. Another one based on kind of weird busted up games. They were, so they were relying on like a fair bit on that I should <laughs> play a game. Yeah, basically. <laughs> this, this loser Give user does not give up. Which I guess in that way makes them a winner. <laughs> There's a vid window that just had megabyte, megabyte, <laughs> megabyte flashing. <laughs> Details. Just in case you weren't sure. Yeah. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! It's Anzo! Oh, curses. Ha <laughs> ha, Yeah, this is two episodes oh, in a row being cr featuring walkie games. But that is pretty cool how this it's kind of... Like a slinky slides in. Bad. Kind of like a square thing. Oh yeah, because it's specifically drawn no, to the core, no. right? Because all the core energy is released. Isn't that what's going on? Sure. Again, if I was paying attention, oh, I'd like be aware. You know a lot about these computers, of course. Enzo, <laughs> you killed Megabyte. <laughs> you did what I never could do. <laughs> Here, take Glee. <glitch>. Well, <laughs> I mean, all of this is really just prophetic. Yeah, that's. You're gonna, you're definitely gonna let him die on this one, eh? Well, actually, yeah, really. Not saving Megabyte right now, are you? Because no one's looking, so you don't have to be the hero. Huh? Seriously. I'll be honest. I haven't seen any version of Mad Max, like at all. I've only seen Fury Road. The Fury Road is fantastic. You really have to watch I've it. I've heard it's really good. It's, I know. It's excellent, yeah. It's great, great, great. Like, it, it's just it's just an action movie, but it's just a good action movie. Does it make you want to go back and watch Mad Max? Like, the um, original? It made me curious about the originals, but I know I they're not supposed to be... Really like, they're very different movies from Fury Road, because George Miller, um, he matured a lot as a director and as a person, I think. Right. You know, so... So I don't think they've worthwhile. I, maybe yeah. just for curiosity. My, my, I haven't seen them, but yeah, I might watch them out of curiosity. But I think they come from a very different era. Like, <laughs> yes, I heard they're a little bit boring in a weird way. Too. Yeah, a lot of '80s movies, frankly, are boring in weird ways. Like I watch weird the '80s movies and I'm like, ways. what were we thinking in the '80s? I know. The '90s, on the other hand, when this stuff was going on. And see what you can do about these power surges. All of main He's still spinning. <laughs> How much I happen? like her non-concern. Like, She's like, oh, every time we have a power surge, this happens. Oh, we'll no, he's just being it. dramatic. Just <laughs> let him spin. He'll stop. Uh, things only a parent would say. <laughs> <laughs> Good music in this episode. Oh, Thanks, Paul nice. Buckley. Oh, yeah, falling in the little dire copper thing. Is, is this the first time we see falling in a game? So. Well, yeah, because he doesn't leave the, the principal office, but the game came to him this time, right? So it makes total sense he'd be there. Stealing the core energy, which is now trapped in the game with us. Oh, great! That means if the user wins, Interesting that Fong gets a vehicle, but he doesn't actually like transform. Like he doesn't really become a. No, it's true. I mean, he's, he's got the little helmet with the, 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 the hat with the goggles, which kind of, and he's got biker gloves on. Oh, but I guess yeah, there's only right. so much they can do for him costume-wise, given his odd shape. <laughs> oh, nothing. He's like this. <laughs> he's trying so to boxy. Number one. Let's get it. I, that hair actually suits Enzo. I remember thinking that when I was young. Yeah. And what's funny is that nowadays that's just emo hair. I know, it's yeah. like when I taught in a junior high school in Japan, which was just like a year ago, um, I feel like a lot of kids had that hair. 
at yeah. my school, right? Like yeah. maybe not exactly that hair, but something kind of like it. The long The bang. high school students definitely had that hair in Japan. That was very- It kind of does have an anime idea. Yeah, exactly. Not that I'm saying Japanese students all are anime, um, but- like, Well, <laughs> oh. you might be surprised. Oh. <laughs> I was trying not to be presumptuous, but, but yeah. No, I feel like their fashion's very anime inspired. Hi there. It's so great, like the front of a space shuttle. Yeah, very I, cool. I, I do wonder how much of these were, again, not having seen the original Mad Max films, I don't know how much of this stuff was taken directly from those movies, and is a direct illusion, or if it's inspired by. Yeah. Because again, we, as we've seen, Brendan McCarthy's a pretty freaking creative guy. The music's great. Too. It is, yeah. Once again, shout out. Bob Buckley, just, just giving this a soundtrack that really sets it apart and sets the tone for this episode and only this episode. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is such a good reveal. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Guess he's not Just dead. Nope. <laughs> Just horribly Mega mutated. Like the, the different angles with the musical stings on all of them. Yeah. I, I guess because the design was the highlight of the episode. <laughs> 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 Poor Frank Hackenfall. Well. Um, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, because broken. the mega truck, I know, I love it. Don't you? The mega truck was kind of the centerpiece of the episode. Of course, they want to make the reveal Whoa, big. Yes. You know? And I love to, like, they don't give him any real, like, movement or expression. He's totally just a truck. Like yeah. But you can still feel the menace yeah. in it. Oh, is it the Interocitor again? Get me to that truck. <laughs> <laughs> You are. You did a great job with that expression. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a Hanna Barbera snicker, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Pretty much. Toe. Yeah, it's, almost, it's funny how much this is Mad Max, but also wacky races at the same time. Yes. Like they just have people all of it going on. It's like if Thanks, you just guys. left, it, if you had just left him there, attack and slash instead of bringing him up to confront him, it could already be over. Which I guess shows. I, I think they were pretty. They were good guys from the beginning, you know. I didn't think of them again. like Pokemon because yeah. like there's no really bad Pokemon. <laughs> True. It's just bad owners or masters who tell them to do what they have to do. Yeah, exactly. They just don't think for themselves very well. No. I love like the whole looking like a refinery thing. <laughs> and I love I love Bob driving the mega truck, but then the mega truck having a mind of its own. Whee! This is a great shot. Like yeah. this is so big and dramatic. <laughs> yeah, their comments are perfect. Yeah. And again, feels very like the two of them ad libby in a studio. Yeah. For sure. What got him out of there? That yeah. I think like he has like turbo boosters, maybe. So now, what's the purpose of this game? Like, they were trying to get to that place. And then now yeah, they turned around. The, and the users turned around now. Right, the user's one. all about chasing them down. So what's his job? It's a volatile situation. Anything can happen when a I game is I feel like corrupted. like Star Trek is such a thing that they just drop randomly throughout reboot. Yes, and it's, it's the everywhere. In things that are not even meant to reference Star Trek, it shows up. That's not going to happen. My little brother's in there, and so is Bob. Maybe the Guardian should have stayed outside the game to help evacuate the city. <laughs> What did you say? Bob's in there fighting for us all. When he wins this game, we've got to be ready. Initiate security plan 9505. Get to work. And you're fired. <laughs> Get to work first. <laughs> then you'll be fired. <laughs> That's how Dot do. 
<laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's funny too how much of the stuff in this does feel like specifically like Fury Road, even though Fury Road would not happen for like what 20 years, something like that. I yeah, but 20 years. Mickey, it's the Matrix boy, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> Whoa, that's your evasive maneuvers. Well, you, when you're in a giant I half know. space shuttle, I guess that's about that's as much as all you're gonna do. That's a great shot too. Yeah. Uh, With the truck and pose. Although I, I never really, I mean, because he has all the room in the word world to swerve. I, I never understood why he just keeps going straight he's not for going the off shuttle. the track. He wants to win. Yeah, apparently. That's totally. And just in it. Yeah, he's gonna to win it. And no amount of viruses is gonna. Is he frisking? Yeah, even frisking. <laughs> it's like Enzo. What are you doing? Jolly good. I say, sir. It's like, yeah, that's still gonna be a problem. Where are the brakes? <laughs> brakes! There are no brakes! Okay. <laughs> Crikey, Pinky, I think we bought it. Again, sir? <laughs> <laughs> this is so unique, too. Like, who is the director who was, like, what was the inspiration for, for that? Yeah. Set yeah, of shots specifically, moment. right? Like again, this is where like the creativity and the love really comes through in episodes like this. Like just people who were getting the most out of what they were doing. Oh no, he's no. fine. You steal my binomes of war. Just walk away. Another reference that I never got I and am. still done. <laughs> Oh, see? Still, still alive, just okay. in a lot of different pieces. Will he be reassembled? <laughs> I'll say yes. <laughs> yeah, everyone's fine. We're great. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had seen Smelly, Smelly Vision, Vision again. <laughs> I never could take that serious boy seriously, though. No, that he doesn't like, do that. That's no, not like, who he is. like I think Michael Benier's voice is just too light. Yeah, I was like, gonna he, say he light. doesn't have like, that growly yeah. register to it. No, and it's great for Bob. Yeah, I can't imagine anyone else is Bob, but he can't quite, yeah, muster that. But we still love you, Michael Benier. Yeah, you've done a wonderful job. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks, Vaughn. I like Fong actually getting to like yeah, be a little bit of a hero. Oh yeah, yeah. not smeared icing all over the place. <laughs> does he have a gunshot or, hole in his back? I think he does. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Fong. Fong, oh, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, we know he seems to get up to some pretty dicey stuff in the principal office. That's a good point. He does seem to enjoy playing with like you know explosive things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has no problem with that. <laughs> What is the user yes, trying to do? Maybe he's just yes. like, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, because I guess it was the whole thing where it's like if the, if the user so wins you know first. Well, I guess they, well, they can't let the user win. That's just well, yeah, that's, that's the basic so rule. That's but at the same time, they can't let Megabyte do the thing with the thing. The, the, yeah, the core and Hooking up to the refinery yeah. thing. Yeah. I wonder how Megabyte feels about having a bomb inside his head. Yeah, really. It's gotta around. be a little bit un but, but like you say, so cool that like Megabyte is not here in the sense that you would typically think of. Right. But he's still this imposing presence, making his will felt, even though he can't be there. And like I think things like that shot we just saw of the eye. Yes. You know, closing in is are the things that are supposed to convey to us what he's thinking and what he's focused on, you know? It's pretty cool that they've created this character that can be both entertaining and funny and also kind of scary. Like, yeah. not really scary. But, like, yeah, like menacing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, menacing. Sorry, you said, like, twice. <laughs> commentary. That's all right. 
smash. Game over. smash. Game over. I love that. Oh, like, yeah. Bye bye. Immediately writes itself. Don't worry, we're good. Don't buy a new computer. <laughs> My transformer. Nice try, Megabyte. Better luck next time. Glad you're not this still a truck. The last <laughs> time you will destroy my work, Guardian. Ahem. <clears throat> Megabyte, I suggest you leave. I know Dot's turned to the rescue. I love Dot. I know everyone listening to the show knows that, but. Next time. You have to keep yeah. saying it. <laughs> Ms. Matrix. That's such a good delivery. Mm -hmm. We'll be waiting. <laughs> you won't believe it, Blood. Well, you may well now they're all discombobulated. We, the we broke up. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. That's great. Um. Well, I guess they they didn't come out of the game on skates, so I guess you don't. So that means someone has to go back and reassemble all those binomes that got. Us. <laughs> Whose job is You're that? Not? I guess doctor. Yeah. Doctor? Don't you ever run off to a game alone like that again? I'll talk to you later. What's he supposed to do about it? You shouldn't follow well, me. She wanted, games yeah, this was she wanted him to have this. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not gonna stop him. I couldn't have won this one without you. Bob. Thanks, I think you mean Frisket. <laughs> yeah, actually, Frisket. Frisket was really the hero today, wasn't he? He sure was. Yeah, yeah. Just keep bringing that dog around, Enzo, and maybe we'll be okay. I think that's probably the real reason Frisket does not like Bob, because he does not give credit where credit no, that's, is due. That's a really good point, actually. Anyone, Frisket, I, I feel you. Yeah. I mean, not that people don't give me credit, but, like, <laughs> you know. I'm with you, Frisket. I can understand now. Frisket's resentment. That makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is an episode, this is another episode that as a kid I didn't fully appreciate. But that was just like a personal taste thing. Like it was, this is such an action-y episode. And they tried to put the little story, like the little character bit about like Dot not wanting Enzo to go into the games and put himself at risk. And But then they just completely backtrack on that anyway like it's, i know they yeah. just ignore it yeah and so i remember this not being my favorite episode just because it was just action and yeah and it's it true. never it's, really had like lies doesn't it yeah yeah it, it never really had the the a character arc behind which which i realize is also the problem with infected there's no character arc in infected there's no character having to decide what the right thing is to do um, it really is just all the characters doing. You press play on the characters, yeah, and, and they, they just do what go they the do, motions. yeah, and it's yeah. just a lot of fun, yeah. And and this episode is not too strong in the character department, which is why I don't think it was one of my favorites as a kid. But watching it as an adult, I can appreciate it as just a really cool spectacle that they put a lot of care and effort into, and obviously, like you said, had a lot of fun with. Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, I, like, and the thing too with the infected episode is that. It kind of felt like they got them wrong. Yeah, in this episode, and they this at least feel in yeah. character. You yeah. know, like, Dot's naggy, but, like, for good reason. Like, she yeah. kind of comes out of nowhere with it. But she also gets to be the boss and do cool stuff as well. So it, yeah. like, balances it out, And it's right? believable that maybe it's been become a problem. Yeah. And she's addressing it, like, now. And they just didn't bother to show us the back story of that. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. And we still see everyone being legitimately worried about each other at yeah. the same time. Like, like, Dot is angry at Bob. But when she finds out that he's trapped in this wonky game in this dangerous situation with Megabyte, she's also worried about him at the same time. Yeah. You know, so it, do it doesn't seem to reduce the characters as much. And, you know, Bob maybe kind of goes behind Dot's back a little bit and talking to Enzo and being like, but I'm secretly glad you came in. But he's still like, he still seems to get it. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, he's trying to make him totally feel better. Off. He's yeah. not trying to be like, you're a sister. Woo! <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> So, yeah. so the characters are in character in a nice way. Um, so even though there's not a huge character arc, there's fun stuff going on. So yep, yeah, th those are my thoughts on Bad Bob. Any final thoughts from you? Oh, I just I think I can see why they picked the toy. It is it's just very fun. The music I could I had forgotten yeah. how much and like the, the music is along. repetitive but not boring. Well, or, but it's because like, it's got to be it keeps amping up. It's, right? it's literally supposed to be driving, right? So it's yes. that charging again, like the in Mad Max Fury Road, the um, 
oh god has a name the character on the guitar and i forget what it is everything that's the cool thing about that movie is like every side little character thing has a name it's a great movie i should make you watch it um <laughs> yes. it would terrify your children though commentary so. <laughs> yeah it does seem a little, <laughs> no. a little gritty yeah. <laughs> um but uh yeah the um uh Th that soundtrack's kind of the same. There's just this like repetitive driving, but it's all about like moving you forward and feeling amped up. <laughs> it's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. I really did. I don't. I, I guess I don't have much to say about it. Uh, like aside from what we've already said. Yeah. It was just really. It's fun. And like I don't have a problem with episodes that are very actiony. Um, if they're done in an interesting way. If yeah. it's not just like action if for the sake of action. action. Yeah. yeah, it was really fun. Like a lot of really cool shots. I love Mega Truck. I mean, he's so cool. Yeah, I mean, you can't not. Even, no. Yeah. yeah. Even and, me not loving the episode, I was like, but the Mega Truck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, it just seemed like a little bit of like a fan service-y kind of episode. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. I liked sure. it. It's good stuff. So well done. That was Bad Bob. And uh, once again, I'm Robin. I'm Katie. This is the Reboot Review. Thanks, Bad Bob, for joining us. You're Good welcome. <laughs> the worst. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, stay frosty. My digits.